we've unpackaged the Mr. Cool and um, here's the bottom of the unit where we removed the bracket which will hang on the wall there was only one screw to remove this is the exterior unit came in all these boxes that fit in the back of the car do not want to kink this line came just like this unpackage the condensing tube there is only one little end that comes apart even though there's several join areas there is only one that's gonna come apart for you this is actually connected together just to make sure you find the right end point we are installing it over a stairway with a door that's all insulated really well there is our pilot hole just to make sure on the exterior that we're in the spot that we think we're in that is a nice pick this is our setup we have the scaffold which has really helped a lot on the stairway there's where we're gonna hang it actually you're going to bust this wall out eventually so it couldn't go there we have a slanted wall couldn't go there didn't run on the front of the house so we're sort of hurting for locations and it's beside a window I didn't want it to come down on my head when I was working so I'm hoping the stairwell is not going to be a bad decision. If you're too cheap to buy one of these beds. <laughs> Mini split line has quite a ways to go. Up top, all the way down to where we have our shutoff. Down here. We're actually going to put these uh, pavers underneath. They're 15 inches long. The unit's about 13 wide. So that'll work nicely. When you're too cheap to buy a bit. So the provided pipe is going to have to be cut. Be sure you pitch your hole down a quarter of an inch on the outside for proper drainage. And we're going to put about six screws into the bracket. One at least is in a stud and they're anchors and the other one and they're provided. Of course it should be level. Okay, that's it. Okay, 
ready? Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do this. You can do it. Okay. You got the top on? Top what? Is it in the top bracket? Yeah, it's hanging in there, yeah. Okay, and then you push the bottom into the clip. Nope. Don't let the thing fall. This was quite problematic, and it is not mentioned anywhere that you remove this piece. You will not be able to cover up the hole. You will not be able to fit your pipe through. 
So we had to take the whole thing back down, get the pipe back in from outside. There is a little teeny thing on here that says pull. So we took this off, which was is going to provide the room that you will need to push that pipe through. Or else it gets bound up. It's too short here. It needs this extra space. Mr. Cool, you ain't cool. This has really been problematic. I hope we didn't bust anything. Be prepared to make a mess of your walls. <laughs> God. <laughs> you like scratched your walls up. <laughs> We could not get this snapped, so finally my smart husband figured out to apply pressure on the metal hook inside, and it actually snapped finally. This was after about 20 minutes. And the other clip went in when I made sure the top was smashed back, and I smashed up on this bottom piece. Sorry, it's blurry. Also, I will say, you can see the hole on the side. I guess I'll be putting a decal or a picture there. It wouldn't have mattered so much. This is the side of the room that people see if I would have put the hole on the other side. Ah, my reward for installing a Mr. Cole. A raspberry green ball. Trader Joe's.